Hello guys, uh, welcome back. In this video, let's have a look on the bridge option in the Z modeler and it is very specific to the polygon action. Uh, so to access the Z modeler, you can just go to the brush and then pick the Z modeler or you can pe press B, Z and M, then you get the Z modeler here. If you hover your cursor over the polygon and then hit space bar or right click, you get the uh, polygon actions and then you can pick the bridge here. Okay. Uh, so we have two types. One is the connected polys and another one is the two polys. Connected polys will have more options than the two polys. So let's have a look on the two polys here. So let me select this uh, uh, model and then hold control and drag and then make a copy of this and then uh, remove the mask of the first object and then uh, select the Z modeler and then select the bridge and two polys. Okay. So I'm going to select my first uh, polygon here. You could see uh, there's a message saying that uh, bridge two polys and uh, you got click first polygon. So I'm going to select that one and then uh, go for the second poly and then you get this uh, bridge. So if you just click here and then here, you get the same thing happening on these two models here. Okay. Uh, so um, when you are selecting the first poly and you you mistakenly selected it, you can hit space bar and then that resets and then this becomes the first poly again. And then you can do the selection. Like that. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, undo this and then you got uh, one model here. Then I'll uh, select the connected poly here. So in the connected poly, you have uh, um, different types of, you know, results like in terms of the curvature of the uh, bridge. Okay. And some modifiers for the bridge. So let's have a look on a few of these options here. So we have uh, the Bezier curve. Uh, defaultly, we have interactive curvature and interactive resolution here. Okay. Uh, so I'll just uh, select uh, one of the poly here and then you should see there is an orange color line from center to the edge. And when I'm, uh, you know, hovering this cursor and rotating it and the pointer is keep on changing it. So on which side you got this orange line, that is the connected poly. I mean, this polygon will be connected with that. So let me just click and drag and then you should able to see uh, and then you get the result there. So what's really happening here is uh, I, I'm just when I'm clicking and dragging uh, and when I'm moving it left and you should able to see uh, the height of this uh, result is going up. Okay. And uh, when I'm moving up and down, uh, the resolution is going up and down here. Okay. So when I'm just clicking and dragging, make sure that in which side you're dragging it. So left and right will bring up the height and the vertical dragging will give me the resolution of the uh, bridge here, which you can avoid by, you know, um, by, you know, specific value, like curvature value to 50 and the uh, resolution to eight. And then when you just click, you get this result here. Okay. So let me just uh, try uh, using the spline and then click here. Then you should be able to see the result is completely different. So what you can really do here is you can select this uh, model and, uh, you know, duplicate it several times. And then just have a comparative difference between all this uh, tools. So let me select the Z modeler and then you should be able to see I'm trying the Bezier curve like that. Now I'm going to select the spline. Now I'm going to select the circle. Now arcs. Then arcs and line. Round corners. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, undo it. And then let me just uh, instead of uh, these two, I'm going to select the interactive curvature and resolution and then try the arcs here. Okay. Okay, now let me just try the arcs and line. Now round corners. Now small round corners. So, so you could see that uh, difference here. then tight round corners then straight lines so you could see the gradual uh, you know roundness is increasing as i go forward until until the circle uh, so these are different types of bridges how you get the model let me just uh, try here um, with uh, the extrude and then poly loop or maybe I just uh, poly loop flat, then you get this. Now here, if I try using the uh, bridge, okay, then you should be able to get this nice corner over here, okay. 
So anytime you can just click and repeat the same action. If you if you have you know last time applied that result, just click and then you get the same amount of interaction in the curvature, uh, curvature and resolution uh, which have achieved in the previous one. Just click and that repeat will happen. But uh, we should have a look on uh, something unique and uh, that is I'm going to increase the uh, resolution and then take a new cube here and try this on uh, these two polygons okay so when i just click and drag then you should be able to see i'm getting some weird uh, shape here now what's really happening is uh, this plane and uh, this plane okay these two are controlling the tangency of this uh, final result let's say if i just uh, smooth this model maybe like that and then use the bridge tool okay and then again just click and drag And you should be able to see the result is quite weird because that projection okay that projection is going up and this projection is going up and then you should be able to see that so that's how the result is coming out okay so what is that you need to do in this case you need to change the um, align to tangent to align to normal and then now it, it just gives that uh, roundness now it's not really considering the norm tangents of these two faces rather it's considering the normals of these two faces okay that's how it's working so when we have uh, polygons with different edge lengths and all and when we created the bridge uh, when we create the bridge here uh, so variable width constant width non-symmetrical and symmetrical will try to make a average uh, row um, let, let's say when i'm creating this and uh, when i just try to pick um, uh, any other type here there could be a, a slight uh, change between i mean uh, this width uh, which, which is very non uh, it's not noticeable much uh, but you could see there is a there could be difference in this width so uh, constant width and uh, symmetrical and non-symmetrical will take care of uh, those lines here we have uh, polygroup rows and polygroup flat so when i just click here you could see uh, every you know a row is of different polygon group which is basically alternate so, but when I pick the flat, I get this one here. Uh, and also you have uh, triangles and quads here. Uh, so if I just pick triangles, then you get the triangles there. If I pick quads, you get the quads, which is the four sided face on the side here. Okay. Uh, maybe you can try uh, playing with the constant here and then you should be able to see any difference uh, in these two uh, alignments. Okay. So a uh, bridge tool uh, is basically used to connect two different uh, uh, you know uh, polygon faces either adjacent or from two different uh, surfaces of same object so uh, bridge tool is very commonly used uh, modeling tool across all uh, softwares guys i hope you like the video uh, if you have any questions uh, related to the bridge uh, leave a comment in the comment section and hit the like button uh, and i request you to subscribe my channel for more such content thank you